Hello and welcome to how to schedule a Zoom session. I'm David in ARC. Uh, when you first get logged in, you may be taken to this page here. If you are, click on My Account. Otherwise, you will probably be taken to the My Account page. Uh, you can just click these little X's to get rid of this stuff. What we're going to do is, uh, this is your profile. We're going to go to the Meetings tab over on the left-hand side. And this is where you will be able to schedule a new meeting. Uh, once again, you can close these things if you want, or you can leave them. It, does, it doesn't really matter. Other than they're just kind of in the way. So you want to schedule a new meeting. And when you do this, um, the first thing that you're going to see is the topic or the title of your meeting. So, for example, if I'm teaching American history, then I can just type in here that the topic is going to be uh, American history history. Now, the problem is your students are probably going to have a ton of Zooms, so you might want to specify your name. Okay, so if I do Mr. Henderson's American History, then that specifies that. If you want to do some additional information about it, you can. The next thing you want to do is schedule the date. And uh, to do that, you can use the little date picker calendar thing here in between, uh, in the middle there. And you want to choose um, the first date that this session is going to uh, show up on. Then the next thing you would do is pick the time at which it starts. You can pick on the hour or on the half hour. So in this case, if I want to do 10 a.m., make sure you change it to a.m., um, the next thing is if you're using a free account, you're probably going to be limited to 40 minutes, but... Um, your school account may let you do longer if you want, so check on that. Next thing we have is recurring meetings. So let's say you want this to happen every Monday. You click the recurring meetings, change it to weekly, and then you put on there, hey, I want to have this every Monday at 10 a.m. until a particular date. Likewise, if I want to do every Monday and Wednesday, I just click the Wednesday button, and there you see it is every week from on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, otherwise, if it's just a one-time meeting, then you can uncheck recurring and it'll just happen the one time that you have it scheduled. You wanna have it create the meeting ID automatically. Don't use your personal ID, just have it one create automatically. And you also want to have a password for your meeting. Uh, that will be included in the link that you send out once we actually get it scheduled, but you wanna make sure that it's got uh, a password. Uh, video and audio, video for the host uh, and participants, you can have that on or off. And then you have other uh, I items here, for example, uh, mute the participants upon entry, and you also want to have a waiting room. And then if you want to record, you can. With the waiting room, that will uh, prevent people from just jumping in. You will have to approve them uh, in order to join the meeting. Once that's done and you save the changes, your meeting is created. So it's got the meeting ID there. It's got some other information, including the invite link. But the easiest way to invite people is to come over to the side and click on copy invitation. That's going to open up a new window that has the invitation in there. And you want to copy, copy the meeting invitation button. You'll see at the top it says copy to your clipboard. So You've got that copied. The next thing that you want to do is once you have that copied, you're going to jump over to a new tab, get into your email, and once your email comes up, you're going to compose a new message, and that message is going to be sent to whatever students or parents or whoever you're sending this to. So, for example, I can do student1 at whatever school.org or whatever it doesn't matter I'm just you will put in the actual people that you are trying to invite to this zoom session all right so you'll put in your student email addresses or your uh, parent emails etc then for the subject of the message uh, you can put in whatever you want so I'm going to put in American history zoom and then you're going to click in the body of the message as if you were going to type a message and then you want to right click your mouse button and choose paste. 
that will paste in the invitation. And that is all you have to do. When you hit send, they will get this email with the link to the Zoom session and they will be able to join your Zoom. The password is embedded in that link, so you don't have to worry about that. It's also encoded, so it's not going to be the actual password that you had put in there or that, that it had put in there. It's going to be encoded. Don't worry about that. You can send that. If you want to, you can click on the Add to Google Calendar and have it add it to your calendar. That's up to you. If you go back to the meetings tab, then you will see that you have your upcoming meetings already set and scheduled. So what happens? How do you start the meeting? You could come back here to zoom.us, log in, look at your meetings and start them from here. You don't have to do it that way. Actually, the easiest way is to um, uh, come out to the Zoom application itself. So I can just find zoom on my computer i can run zoom and on the day of the event this list will have whatever events you've got scheduled and then you can start it from there or uh, it should automatically start as long as you've got zoom open uh, it should start your meeting if it doesn't though you just click start and it will run from zoom so that is it in a nutshell that is how you schedule a Zoom session for your students, parents, other teachers, whatever you're doing. You want to host a meeting. This is how you host the Zoom meeting. Uh, I know it kind of went fast, but remember, you can always uh, pause, you can rewind, you can fast forward, you can skip to the parts you want. So I hope this was very helpful for you in terms of scheduling a Zoom session. Uh, got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you in the next Zoom session. Remember, this is not, uh, this was just scheduling. So anything like settings or management, any of that kind of stuff, that will be in a different training. This was just for setting up scheduling a Zoom mm -hmm. session. So whoops. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.